All right, we're recording everybody. Excited and welcome to the call. It is the beginning, well, it's actually the end of February. Can you guys all hear me? Yeah. Yes. Well, it's end of February and hopefully you guys all had a great month. I've made some calls today. In fact, I almost did on, didn't get on the call today because we have a brand new distributor and I was walking them through their virtual office and I panicked and I looked at the time and I went, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I have a call. And so they're not on the call tonight, but hopefully they will be next week. So Chris and I have been involved with the Juice Plus company for 26 years. And um, we're 100 club members. And truly, I think the thing that we love most is this, is being able to see our team, work with our team, and help our team get what they want. And the idea that we have so many people that we can help and make it such a difference. And I love when Lisa says, you know, when you're having a good month, it means that you've touched more lives. So when you think about that, it's not always about the check, it's not always about the number, but the idea of touching more lives. So hopefully a lot of us have touched a lot of lives in February. So that's all I'm going to say for tonight. I can't wait to introduce our speaker, and I'm going to tell you that what I love about what we do is that I asked Julie to speak tonight um, without really even knowing much about her, except that I had heard her on some calls and loved what she had to say. So I called her out of the blue. We didn't know each other. We actually met each other in Branson. And she's got a Bachelor of Science degree in Journalism from the University of Kansas. She's worked in an advertising agency. She was the manager of a marketing services. And Julie has always been pretty health conscious. She's been a lifelong dancer. She's won some collegiate national championships. But in 1989, she was enlightened further. And I love that's her word. She was enlightened further. And she found out about our, our Juice Plus and our virtual franchise. And so I'm going to actually, a lot of you have seen her picture because of the flyer that we posted. And Julie, I am going to, uh-oh, why is this doing that now? Ah! My computer's doing something weird. Um, I am going to put a spotlight on you, Julie, and make you big so when we record it, we're not seeing all the Hollywood squares, and we're going to see you. So hang on one second. And um, this is my new best friend, Julie. <laughs> and, and it was so fun to find each other in Branson. And so I'm going to let you, let you tell our team the heat. And by the way, we thank you so much for getting on this call tonight. We are so incredibly appreciative. And when you and I went back and forth on Boxer and you said some of the things you were going to cover, I got really excited. I said, I knew I picked the right gal for this job. So um, go ahead and tell us a little bit about your story and then jump in. Perfect. Well, it's an honor to be with you guys um, tonight. I had told her that I have heard about her business and her team for so many years, and it was fun to see so many faces that I actually have met over the years um, just a minute ago um, at the beginning of the call. But I was introduced to Juice Plus over 18 years ago and ignored my friend for a good year who told me um, this would really help her immune system. She was actually my hairstylist. Her husband and she were family friends of ours, and um I was sick all the time. Every time I'd go in to get my hair done, I was sick, and she would tell me about it. Her husband is a physical therapist, and they were starting to cure it at his office. And it was a year later, they were over for dinner, that my husband had an open mind, thankfully. Um, we had been married a year. I was 25, and I was on antibiotics at least six times that first year of marriage and was sick all the time. And um, he's wonderful, but I know he thought in sickness and in health, health would be a little bit better. So he actually was the one that said, Julie, let's do this. You know, we're both working. Let's go out. I'll go somewhere else. 60, 70 hours a week. And um, so it was something that we thought, okay, it's fruits and vegetables that can't hurt us. So for those people that you talk to that don't get it right away, um, well, you know, be patient and persistent and just keep loving on them where they are. So we started Juice Plus and that same month I joined up with the mission. So I'm what they call some of the 5% that um, actually I was inspired by the education. I heard Wendy Campbell speak in Kansas City and I was attracted to the company because of the flexibility. I was working crazy hours in advertising. My husband was in college athletics, and I knew he had the dream to be an athletic director. So that meant we would be moving 
around the country and I wouldn't have control necessarily over my career. And I was also really missing, I was longing for something that I was making a difference in people's lives. So I was living at the ad agency from eight in the morning till 10 at night and really missing that. And Juice Plus really filled that void for me. It was something that instantly, the community of people, um, I loved the flexibility that I would be able to work this business from anywhere I wanted in my own pace, um, that there weren't territories. That was all very attractive knowing the career path my husband was going to take. And I have to say, it has proven to be everything and more. Um, we have three children. They're 15, 13, and 9. And we've lived in six different houses in four different cities since I started with Juice Plus. So I made national marketing director three years ago, um, three and a half years ago at the Orlando conference. And my journey is a little different from most of my leadership friends in our company. Many of them, including my sponsors, JJ and Christy Vogelsberg, you know, they did it in that two to five year average. And my journey was 14 years. And I was an QNMD for almost eight years. And I'm not proud of that, but it's my story. And I embrace that. And I encourage you all to do the same because the same things I was attracted to with this business, um, is what it proved exactly to be, that I could put my husband's career first, which is a very full-time job for me as well. And it's been a complete joy to see him, you know, get to be the director of athletics at a division one institution and have his dream for that come true. And that I'm truly by his side and part of that for all of it. But we do live a very full life, as many of you do. Um, just to kind of paint a picture, it seems like travel is always part of it. And I, um, for those of you who have been a part of Image and Bob Samara, he is a life coach that I've worked with. And he's been a big part of my journey the last five years. And just helping me realize exactly how capable God created me to be. I used to struggle a lot with that life balance. I would say that during that time, when I was a Q, um, we had moved to Kansas, back to Kansas. We went from Kansas City to South Florida to Lawrence, Kansas, and now we are in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And the year we were back in Kansas, um, I was doing a little free pro bono workshop for some Girl Scouts, and I was sharing the nutrition detectives. And I overheard my daughter, because one of the girls said, oh, Juice Plus, it was on the video. Um, does your mom do that? And my oldest, who was in fourth grade at the time, said, oh, yeah, she wants to be an NMD, but that's never going to happen. And it literally stopped me in my tracks because for so many years they heard me talk about we're going to get on stage and we're going to all be dancing on there and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And I realized that instead of my kids being an excuse not to do this business, they really became the reason for me to do this business. And um, through working for me with Love Samara and the image seminars, that was a huge catalyst for me to realize um, what life balance really means and um, that it's never perfectly achieved, but it's something that everyone can truly have. It's, it's an inner peace that you kind of find in, in doing what you want to do and having your priorities and what works for your family and going after that. So, um, you know, for travel purposes, it's just what happens between my kids, my husband, and Juice Plus. I was looking back at the last three months, and I had 10 trips in 12 weeks. So traveling, you know, as many of you know, doing laundry, packing, the mail that piles up, getting back, managing your business. Um, I also lead three different Bible studies, and I'm involved in our church. I'm the homeroom mom for my son. Um, there are a lot of things when I look at my calendar, there are literally only two nights maybe in the month that I have free. And then I schedule those with Juice Plus. Um, I don't say that I'm busy. I say my life is full and it's just a perspective that I embrace and I love because there's not a single thing that I touch in a day that I don't want to be a part of. I'm not willing to cut any of it. And it was a shift in thinking that you can be busy, you can have a very full schedule and still make your Juice Plus a priority. For me, it is an absolute ministry. It's a mission that I get to do this, that I get to bless 
others' lives and, um, and create an income for my family that has really meant a lot to us. Um, Terry's career is fabulous now, but it was not the best financially for us for many years. We had to make moves that weren't the financial um, optimal for our family. And a lot of times, um, you know, we were apart early on for five or six months while I'd be back trying to sell a house and he had to leave and take a new job. Um, through Juice Plus, with each move, that got shorter and shorter, where we were maybe only apart for a few weeks because my income could make one of the house payments and his could make the other. Um, it afforded us to send our kids to private school when we lived in South Florida, lots of trips. Um, you know, it sounds silly, but I sit at auctions and fundraisers now, and I'm the one that gets to raise my hand and give and give and give. And it's really fun to say yes to a lot of things in life. And that's what we all have in our lap. And that's what I wanna encourage everyone to, um, that truly we were made for so much more. And I honestly believe that Juice Plus came into my life for very important reasons. And it is not to play small. There are lives that depend on it and my family and others to be blessed by it that um, it drives me every day. So I did learn years ago to discipline the disappointments. You cannot control others, just like my sweet friends couldn't control when I would say yes. You can't control when someone's going to say yes. But I encourage you to have a DMO that, that encourages activity. And that at the end of the day, you think, okay, if I haven't shared Juice Plus with at least two people, I'm not going to go to bed until I reach out and love on two people, invite them to a Facebook event, invite them to a live speaker, um, invite them to watch a video. But that's how I gauge my success is that my activity is super high. And for me, it's more than two people a day, but you just have to look at what it is. And you just work in stolen moments. Um, my calendar is full. I don't have the opportunity to do as many live events as I wish, especially on a regular consistent basis. So that would be something that I would encourage all of you to look at your calendar, especially today. Now looking at March. Okay. Do I have in-home events planned? If that's not feasible, do you have Facebook events or Zoom webinars? I do a lot of things virtually um, with my team, for my team, and for my customers. So that's just a big part of my life is maybe not set schedule things, and that's okay. So if you can do something on every Thursday night, that is awesome. That has never fit with my schedule. Um, being married to the athletic director, our schedule is really full, plus with university commitments. Um, we have 16 different sports and all the activities that go with that, and fundraising and everything else. Um, I will say that I honor Sundays. Um, Sundays are the one day that I know my husband, there's a lot of activities and events we still have on Sundays. But Sunday evening, um, he is usually home unless he's out of town. And that's one thing that he's asked is that I don't um, schedule events or work on Sundays. And so maybe that's something that for your family, you carve out that time and figure out um, that. And I, I just honor that and I trust that my business is going to be blessed for doing so um, because that is usually the one time maybe that we can all be together and connect as a family. Um, I have kids like many of you possibly do that are super busy and involved in activities, um, multiple things. So my typical day, um, my team knows that a lot of times they may not hear back from me between three and eight because I try to honor that time with my kids. Um, so it's just a matter of setting some boundaries but then being super intentional in every stolen moment. I love the DMO worksheet that's on the missiondrivenmodel.info um, website. It's, I'm sure you guys have seen that. If you haven't, I love that. I love filling it out and being intentional for the week to know that I'm going to touch all areas of my business. I'm going to work on reaching out to new people. I'm going to follow up with those people. I'm going to have great customer care, and I'm going to um, love on my distributors. So that is important, I've learned over the years too. Um, and you know, if some of you, that whole concept comes from the two by two by two by two. And I learned years ago when my little ones were home um, that I worked better in blocks of time. So I would schedule 
an hour for customer care, an hour for prospect care, an hour for distributor care, instead of doing two by two by two by two each day, I kind of did it in chunks of topics so that I could be focused on what type of activity I was doing. And now that my kids are the ages they are and I live in my car, um, the two by two by two by two is more practical, except some days it's a lot more and some days it's just one by one by one by one. It just depends um, what life's throwing, throwing at you. But I definitely encourage you um, to have a DMO and fall in love with it. Um, that is, that's key, where you are truly addicted to the activity. I am an addict. I mean, my family will sometimes say, you know, my husband will tease me that I'm working all the time, but I love what we do. I never feel like I'm working ever. So find that passion. It's really fun. This healthy living revolution, I feel, has ignited a passion in me that I had years ago for this business and for the customer care aspect of it. And the Shred 10 is rocking my world. Um, I'm sure many of you are participating. If you've never done a Shred 10 yourself, I encourage you to do that. And then truly embrace that. I've had more customers since October of this, you know, October, November, December. I've been doing a Shred every month, at least one, sometimes two. And um, we are following the monthly rhythm now that's recommended in the system guide of one at the beginning of the month. And I've had more customers in the last four or five months than I probably had in the last year and a half or two years put together. It's amazing the number of new customers I have. They are all ordering the trio and the complete. They don't balk at it. It's such beautiful added value what we offer with the support and the whole program. And now, just since January, when the system guide came out, and they recommend the texting. So I've done the Facebook groups, we're doing the events now, and I use Post My Party. I have a script for the Shred 10 that is set up so it will automatically populate three different posts a day, a sample workout, um, something inspirational, um, different things throughout the day, and then all of the reps that are in there, we try to encourage communication and dialogue. And I just am getting the greatest feedback. I mean, my favorite comment that I get every single shred, at least from one person, is that food doesn't control me anymore. I have control over food for the first time in my life. I've had a handful of people share that, and that is so exciting, the difference we know that we're making. Um, I personally had a great health experience with Juice Plus 2. I was chronically sick, as I mentioned, and I went from being on six antibiotics a year to maybe six the last 17 years. And I have an autoimmune condition. I have Hashimoto's, it's a thyroid condition. And I remember when I was diagnosed, and it was after being on Juice Plus um, is when I was diagnosed, but my levels were off the chart. And the doctor said, I truly don't know how you're functioning. The only person I've seen with levels like this couldn't physically get up off the sofa and move. And I was living life full out with three kids and um, everything that we do. So I know that Juice Plus, how we live our life, diet and nutrition is so important that I'm very, very inspired and passionate about sharing that. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, lots of times I'll say share health, share hope. I think health is one of the biggest ways that um, people try to steal our joy because if we're not healthy, we can't be out doing good things. And so I really believe in that. And that's just part of our team's mission and what, what we do. Um, growth does look different for a lot of people. For me, I love Facebook. I love how I'm able to love on my team, love on my customers, and promote just my lifestyle of healthy living on Facebook. So that is really another easy way that I do a lot. I do not vomit Juice Plus all over Facebook. That is not appealing to anyone. A lot of times you won't even see Juice Plus mentioned on my Facebook at all, but it's just how I'm living the mission. And it's really fun and you see it with the Shred 10 because then when I throw that out there about you know anyone wanting to join me for a 10 day jump start for clean living, the people who have been following me over the years and the ones that jump in and want more information because I've modeled and proven it's how I live my life. Um, but I mentioned earlier that a lot of my friends in this company, a lot of leaders, you know, they are bigger club levels than me. They have bigger businesses than me. And I want to encourage you too that wherever you are in this business, 
Catherine Lee taught me years ago that comparison is an emotional cancer. And two of my dear friends, Julie Herbst and Don Rathman, you may know those names, they started in this business the same year as me. And I could very easily look at their businesses <laughs> and feel like a failure. But instead, I feel like a total champion. I'm a champion of my own business and what I wanted this to be for me and my family. And I encourage all of you to embrace the story that you're creating with your Juice Plus business, the lives that you can impact. Um, but I also want to encourage you to stretch yourself. I was a professional perfectionist, and that held me back for a long time. And I now say that truly, if you're not dropping balls in this life, that you're not doing enough with your life. Um, now, clearly, we don't want to drop a lot of important <laughs> things in our life, but I'm okay with making a few mistakes. I'm okay with maybe not getting everything done exactly as I intended um, because there are a lot of things that I touch and that I want to do. And I just encourage that for anyone that struggles with that as well. Um, there's so much more to life than doing a few things perfect. And so I like to do a lot of things as well as I can. And that was, that was a shift in thinking for me too. Um, I mentioned that five years ago, I really started working on my thinking and I started working on what I wanted to get out of my life. The example I wanted to set for my kids in setting goals and accomplishing them and my kids being a part of it. And they are, I'll get back from conferences and my daughter who's now 13 will have been watching some, you know, million dollar house hunter show and laughs and what turns to me and it's like, mom, you need to make some more money so you can buy a vacation home. And, um, you know, she's also the one that wants to be the youngest NMD. Both my daughters want to join me in Juice Plus. They're now 15 and 13. And my oldest is a musical theater student and that is her passion. And she loves telling people who say, how are you going to make a living with that? That she's going to do Juice Plus and be able to pursue her love and passion for theater. And I love that I've modeled that for her. So it's so much more than just healthy living. It's healthy living to the extreme, and I embrace every part of that. Um, our family life is, is crazy at times. You know, you will hear people screaming in our house. We have arguments. Um, there are a lot of times that I could get confused about what I'm doing and how I spend my time but I refuse to let that negative self-talk rule my life because I know that I was created for so much more. I know how I was created and what I'm capable of. And so I embrace that I really can do so much more. So I wanna encourage you to stretch yourself. If you're on this call tonight because you wanted to hear about that, um, I'm not, I'm not gonna give you excuses to, to play small and to stay busy in too many things. I definitely streamline. I say no to some things, but I say yes to a lot. I'm on boards. I have um, you know, groups at my church I lead, I mentioned. I have uh, a wives group of all the coaches' wives in the athletic department. I lead several things a month with them. Um, I have, again, my kids' stuff and Juice Plus, and you really can do it all. But you do have to be selective and you have to learn that best yes. Um, but it doesn't mean it's just Juice Plus family and maybe some of you have full-time jobs. Um, it can be a little extra too. You just have to work smarter, um, not necessarily harder, but it is commitment and it takes time. And I tell my family, thank you for sharing me with the world so that I can go do what I feel I was called to do. Um, I am gone at times and I feel like they need to know that the mission I'm on and what I'm doing is truly worth that time away from them. They have become more independent. They know how to take care of themselves. Um, there are a lot of values in that as a mom that I'm rising them up to be um, self-sufficient. But I do thank them for sharing me with the world. And they know that. And they know why I do what I do. Um, I also have learned that I, there are times that I truly um, ask and I, I pray that people are brought into my world that will fit with my schedule. 
you know, that you just, you want to say, okay, I'm going to attract. If you know that you want to work this business more during the day or the evening or whatever it looks like for you, um, put that intention out there that you're going to attract people who, for me, I want to attract people who will fill in my weaknesses that make our team stronger. I can't be all things to all people. I am not, um, I don't have the skill set or the strengths in every area of this business. And so I constantly am putting that intention out there to have people be drawn in that can fill in the gaps that I have weakness, you know, those areas. Um, and that I also want to attract people that for me right now, my days are easier to work than, than evening. So people who can meet with me during the day, who can do more during the day than the evening. And I put that intention out there. Um, you want to stretch yourself and you want to recommit daily. Um, I have family who are addicts, so I don't say this lightly, but I really feel like it's almost um, living a life that you're not a perfectionist or living a life that you're going to be intentional. It's almost like my friends and family who have to wake up every day and recommit to that. It is recommitting daily. It's recommitting every day that I'm going to work with intention, use my time wisely, and do the most with every minute of that day. And if some things go astray, the great thing is, um, hopefully you have tomorrow. And you wake up the next day and you recommit. Whether that's with your own health goals, if you're on a really serious health journey to get healthier, or your customers, you know, give them that grace too, and offer yourself that grace. And then you just get up and you recommit daily on that. Um, my word for this year, if you've ever heard of the one word challenge, is thrive. And then there is one of my favorite songs. And I wanted to share my favorite lines from that song. It says, we know we were made for so much more than ordinary lives. It's time for us to more than just survive. We were made to thrive. And I just encourage all of you to embrace that and know and set some huge, big, audacious goals and be intentional to reach them for yourself, for your health, and for your family. So I can open it up for questions or whatever. First of all, I have to say it's exactly 630. It's like your last word is out. Like that timing is amazing. And I just want to say just a couple things really quickly. Um, for those of you that want to stay on for just a few minutes, you're welcome to. If you have another call to get on to, that's fine. But we will take a couple questions for those that can stay on. But I just wanted to say a couple things that was really important to me in noticing was one, clearly um, your family comes first. And there's no doubt about that. That was a priority for you. And the other thing is, though, is that you created a DMO that, and I, I think you were in Branson when they put up on the screen, Daily Magnificent Outcomes, which is my word. My word for this year is DMO because I need to get better at it. But DMO had no sex appeal whatsoever to me. <laughs> changed it to Daily Magnificent Outcomes. So every time I say the word DMO in any place it makes me feel good but the fact that you know at the beginning of the week exactly what your week was going to look like you put it together you made a plan and it included all the big rocks for the family but then you filled in all the places and I think that that's something that if people are really busy mm -hmm. um, they really need to be able to do that because we hear so much from people they don't have the time more than anybody you are have a full life and you could say I didn't have the time to do this but you saw the big value in it, and that's why you created the time. So, Chris, I know you're dying to say something back no, there. I just, Julie, I just wanted to uh, say fantastic. 30 minutes of some of the best stuff we've, we've heard, so you really rocked it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am going to actually take the spotlight off of here just to see if um, anybody – um, has something that they want to ask, if you want to raise your hand or just comment out loud, take yourself off of mute and, and ask a question to Julie. And so if you're talking, we can't hear you just in case that's happening. That happens all the time because everybody is muted. All right. It looks like we're not going to have any questions tonight, which is just fine. I have a question. Great. Um, so, so I was wondering what was your deciding, like what made you decide to get coaching and you know, what was like, what was the difference for you once you started coaching? 
Um, for me, it was several friends in Kansas City. So I had moved back near my upline and um, a sideline buddy said, there's this really great personal development seminar. I highly encourage it. And I signed up to go and then the University of Kansas got in the final four and I missed the seminar that weekend. But JJ and Christy Vogelsberg went and they were just on fire, almost scary on fire. If I'm honest, I tease them about it. I'm like, okay, what is this? <laughs> I was literally like, all right, I don't know about this. But they got an image seminar scheduled back two weeks later in Kansas City. And it was one day my husband had off and he was not happy about going, but we both went. And that was really powerful too. I encourage you, any personal development you do, whether it is image or something else, um, do it with someone. If they're open to going, do it with someone that's in your household because it made a huge difference um, being surrounded by the same knowledge and information. But um, I was desperate for change. You know, my daughter had made that comment about, I overheard her say she wants to be an NMD, but that'll never happen. And I had been a Q at that point for six and a half years. And then I made NMD one and a half years later. And that was with another move in the mix. So, um, it was it was awesome and i was at q school the in august and i hit nmd in september and at q school ron watkins said so is your goal this spring and i'm like no our goal's next month like we're gonna do it for orlando and he said julie i've seen your numbers i don't know that may not be realistic and i said just watch us <laughs> and, and we did it and i mean miraculous things happened but we had been intentional and we had done all the activity. But for me, I was desperate for a change in my home. I, I remember sitting at that first seminar in tears thinking, I am surrounded by drama and I want a more peaceful home. I want a more peaceful environment. And, um, you know, I remember being asked, where does the drama come from? And I said, I think it's genetic <laughs> in my family. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's just, to, to learn about the power of your thinking and realize how, um, and you know, I'm happy to visit on Voxer or something more because I, I could talk forever about it, but it's, it's powerful to realize um, the power of your thoughts and how you may not realize they're playing an impact, but they were ruling my world in so many negative ways. And when I took control of my thoughts and remembered who I was and how I was created, lots of awesome things happened so it's good oh well, thank you so much for sharing that that's really awesome i might yeah. watch you <laughs> Great. any any other final little question oh kimberly branson did you oh, want something yes um and we can connect on boxer i hope but i was also diagnosed with hashimoto's mm -hmm. so i was curious because it really um you know your mood changes and just trying to do stuff and function so i would love to connect on like your process mm -hmm. how you came through that yeah and i'm going to just say that kimberly i think it'd be great if you and julie got together and kimberly maybe what you could do is put a voxer out to the heat group on what you learned that would be like a great step up for you to be the teacher in that and learn from that. julie and really share with us I would love so that. That would be fantastic. Any other questions that applies to the whole group? All right. Julie, thank you so much again. The major piece for you was learning, changing your perception, shifting your mindset. You know, again, um, whatever coaching you are looking for, one of the things I'd love to um, – encourage you to do is find somebody some a program whether it's bob whether it's landmark whether it's whatever that really gets your mindset and your perception shifted because that's what really takes off for all of us so love you guys julie thank you ever so much that was absolutely stunning i know we all loved it would you guys all unmute yourselves and really give <laughs> julie this great heat here at the count of three, so you're gonna to have to unmute yourself, and I'm gonna do like one, two, three. Let's go for it! Thank, Thank you. you. That was awesome. Thank you. Awesome. 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 Good night. Thank you. Bye. Great job. Thanks.